Hello again. Have you ever wanted to be a border patrol agent? You get to do wonderful things like look at documents and search for cocaine and deport immigrants fleeing from war zones and put people in a cell and stab people to death. No? Well, why the hell not? Welcome to Akaristan. The date is April 16th, 1981, and it's my first day as a contraband police officer. Akaristan is a beautiful nation, full of wanted criminals, terrible drivers, arms dealers, and an incredibly corrupt communist regime. But what happens inside the country is not my problem. My job is to profile immigrants and lock them away. And when you look at that, the first immigrant is here. So, let us begin. First up is Boris Bondar. Hello. He looks very suspicious. In order to ensure the sanctity of our great nation, I have to check every immigrant's name, photo, passport number, and expiration date. If there's a discrepancy anywhere, I must turn them away. As the game progresses, the list of checks gets longer and longer until you're cracking open fake goats looking for drugs. Anyway, back to Boris. We take his documents. We have a look at his documents. His name is spelled correctly. His passport number matches. His ID is in date. Truly a model citizen. I will not be deporting this man, but I will be climbing into his vehicle. Ah, let me in, let me in. Oh, fuck. There we go. Next up, Baha Polat, whose name is spelled wrong. Oh, Polat, Polut. Ah, damn, this is actually very difficult. I did not see that at all. Wait, no, fuck! I meant to deport him! Stop! Get out of the vehicle! Oh, what did I do? What have I done? <laughs> Shit. Oops. Well, whatever. One more criminal really isn't making it that much worse. Right? And so ends our first day on the border. Sleepy time. Day two. This man is a smuggler. How do I know that? Well, conveniently, all smugglers make sure to mark their illegal goods with invisible ink that is revealed extremely easily with a UV flashlight. So we've found the contraband. What do we do now? Well, Petrov, the all-powerful voice in my head, gave me a knife. <laughs> oh boy. All for me. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no! Apparently, it's against the rules to stab cocaine smugglers to death. So instead, I threw him in a room of rubber. With the cocaine smuggler apprehended, I spent the rest of the day smashing boxes, hitching rides with immigrants. Why? Why? Now let me in. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Can I just keep going? And putting the outpost into debt by spending it all on War Thunder, the sponsor of this video and the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever created. 2,000 vehicles, tanks, planes, helicopters, the funny, all intricately detailed and modeled down for the smallest detail. And best of all, it's free. In-depth customization. You can do this, or this, or even this. Look at these graphics. Look at them. Press your eyes into the screen. Look at the graphics. 4K graphics. Oh my word. The 4K graphics. Beautiful music to relax and chill to. And an otherworldly atmosphere. What do I like about War Thunder? I'm not telling you. Actually, I am. It's this thing, my very own sticker. That's right, you can shoot hot lead into people while donned in the most incredible, ludicrous, crossing drip known to man. Gentlemen, you are now convinced huh? I am controlling your mind to click the link in the description or pinned comment and start playing War Thunder right now on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation for free. And get a free bonus when you sign up or have been inactive for more than six months. Premium vehicles, boosters, and most importantly, my decal. <clears throat> Day three. It's time to buy a gun. Meet Vlad, the shopkeeper and arms dealer. For now, all Vlad will sell me is this shitty pistol, but I have a feeling that Vlad and I will become very good friends. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Shank the man outside. I'll hit him in the head with a crowbar. Can I just get away with that? Can I just do that? Like, what if I were to just, like, run up to him and just whack him in the head with a crowbar? Oh! <laughs> okay. In my defense, I was feeling a little silly. I hit a rock. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. What? Hold on. That's not allowed. <laughs> Day 4. New border restrictions require that all passengers with cargo provide an accurate cargo list, which in turn means that I must inspect all cargo, making sure to smash open any suspicious looking boxes of medicine. And let me tell you, some of the people in this game have some rather silly cargo. The amount of kitchen appliances is honestly ridiculous. Day 5. 
The first guy of the day is carrying kitchen stoves, a box of apples, radioactive materials, and cement. Fair enough. His name is spelled wrong anyways, so... Fuck off. The next guy pulls up to the border outpost, hands me his documents, and sneakily, while I'm not looking, drives off. Hey! Hey, stop! Get that motherfucker! Stop! Oh shit, get back here! Stop! You're under arrest! Box him in! Out of the car! <laughs> That's great. Oi! You dickhead. Can you just fuck off, please? Bruh. Once that dickhead was arrested and thrown into the rubber room, made of rubber, I got a phone call from dispatch. They've lost contact with Sergeant, uh, Gavrilov, who was hot on the trail of the, uh, blood fist? Sure. Whatever. I hopped straight into my van with my boy Captain Sorokin by my side, and drove to the lumber mill where Gavrilov was last seen. Alright, we're at the sawmill. What's going on here? Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! He's dead! Ah! Oh, I'm dead. Damn, I suck. <laughs> okay. What the hell just happened? Well, here's a quick history lesson. The people of Akaristan are currently in the middle of an ongoing battle for freedom, led by Mikhail Garin and... The Blood Feast, a rebel scum, terrorist, evildoer organization fighting against our beautiful, wonderful government. Why? I don't know. Sergeant Gavrilov was supposed to be in charge of tracking down this Garin guy, but as we just saw at the sawmill, he's a traitorous bastard who killed my good friend, Captain Sorokin. All this really means is hunting down the terrorists is now my job, which is really a pain. I'm just here to punish immigrants for faulty passports and sniff contraband. Why is this, this is my job? Was I supposed to die there? I think I was. Damn! Straight up shot some foos. The tutorial is over, which means if I put the checkpoint in dead again, I get fired. Day six. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting. It's just a little game about, you know, the border. Documents, please. Yep, that's valid. Is this all valid? I think he's good to go. Approved. Yes! Hello, sir. Foreskin inspection day is in effect. Documents, please. Uh, oh, I didn't see it. Wow, that's really hard to see. That's a Y instead of... Okay, interesting. Passport number's completely off. Uh, that's out of date. This guy is just all over the fucking place, man. All right, so you're deported. Goodbye. His penis did not pass the inspection. Damn, I'm on a roll. Hi. What you got for me? Meno familia ni ada seguro. Family is in danger. I have to take this course to pay off my debt. Please let me in. They're giving me the moral dilemmas. I do really like deporting people though, so... <laughs> he might be a bit unlucky on this end. Yeah, I'm sorry, brother. I do not care. You are being deported. And that's it for day six. Five perfect inspections. After work, I decided to drop all my prisoners off at the... <clears throat> daycare and got this ominous warning before leaving. Surely that isn't anything important. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit! Ah! Run! <clears throat> I drove to the wrong place like an absolute fool, which means I need to drive back through past the attackers to where I need to go. I suppose I'll have to do some impromptu police work. I'm gonna use my car as cover and I'm gonna just hope that these prisoners don't get fucking destroyed. Oh shit. Leave, leave, no, no, get out of the car. Okay, 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 no, 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 out of the car, out of the car! Kill! Oh. Yes! Sit. Can I loot him? <laughs> no, don't give me this power. What is this? On my way to the correct destination, I ran into even more wanted criminals. But this time, my chat had a brilliant idea for how to get rid of them. Run them over. Oh, you might be onto something with that. I'm going in! I'm away! <laughs> that actually worked. Day seven. Today, I received some rather ominous junk mail. Now listen, you may read this and think, Mart, you heartless bastard. You should have let him through. But if you look very closely at the photo attached, you can see a Shutterstock watermark. Can you believe the nerve on these people? Okay. 
Back to work. Next. Alarm! What? <laughs> We're under attack. Oh my god, I have three bullets. This is unfortunate. I have another gun though, don't I? Ow. This gun is full of ammo. What? Oh my god, the car blew up! I can handle the border attack, just as long as the car behind me doesn't fucking explode. How is that fair? Oh, also, this game is made from fucking shit, piss, and cum, so my inventory got wiped when I loaded the checkpoint. Why do I have nothing? Give me a gun! Shit! Shit! <laughs> I'm hiding. Put me in the cell! Put me in the cell! No! Constable Novak! Oh. Gas pipe. Knife. And a spade. Ah! Ah! There's a grenade! What the fuck is going on? I'm actually good. I'm just saying. Yeah. Maybe I should restart the day. <laughs> I ended up redoing the entire day just to get back to that border attack, but this time, I was ready. I'm going in! Oh! <laughs> the epic slow motion kill. With the attackers vanquished, I thought it might be a good idea to hire some extra help to avoid any future fucky wuckies. So I did just that. Time to sleep. Wait, no. That's not the line. The line is... Time for bed. Day 8. I got a promotion, which means I make more dollary dues for every correct approval or rejection. And with that extra cash, I bought a shotgun. But what good is a shotgun really if it doesn't kill bandits faster than a pistol? Yeah. Do I test the shotgun out? Chat, do I test the shotgun out? Yes, 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 yes. So let's do a little test. It took me 23 seconds to wipe out a crew of bandits before. Now how long does it take? Use violence. Sit! Violence is the place Sit! Sit! Oh shit. Oh my god, this gun's so good. A mere 18 seconds to annihilate any and all assailants. Truly. Incredible. Mwah. Day 9. Oh wait, not quite. Dispatch managed to track down Gavrilov, the traitor who killed Captain Sorokin to a suspected rebel hideout. Time. For a little police work. I have a different car now. Oh. Oh, oh la la. Brum brum. Follow Gavrilov. Okay. Gavrilov becomes suspicious. Can't let him do that. Nothing suspicious over here. Nothing suspicious at all. Crash into him, no balls. So true. Wait, what? Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. Fuck! I'm so bad. Ah! Oh, he's out of the car. Oh my god. Game's a stealth game now. What's he up to? Use the grenade. Use the grenade. Confront him. Okay, right here the game offers you a choice. Join Gavrilov, fighting for a better Akaristan, free of corruption, a paradise on earth, a place for all to rejoice. Or beat him up, arrest him, and maintain the status quo. Arrest him. Arrest. 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 I think the chat has spoken. You're under arrest, Gavrilov. Great work, fellas. Lock that fucker up. We love the government in this house. Alright. Day 9. After slaughtering more than a dozen evildoers at the police base, I was granted a whopping $800 dues. More than enough to purchase a brand new submachine gun from our good pal Vlad. And what better opportunity to test it out than on some shit-sucking bandits? Oh shit. Wait, this is a good chance. Sit. Get out the machine gun. Get out the machine gun! Grrr! Grrr! Holy shit. And time. 12 seconds, baby. New PB. Sit. Day 10. Basically, nothing noteworthy happened. Except for this. A, a, a Karistan. He's a Karistani. What? I mean, I got a perfect inspection, but... Constable Novik! He's dead! Fucking dumbass Constable Novik. Jesus Christ, man. Day 11. Another great day in a Karistan. Yep. Constable Novik is fine. Constable Novik is uh, alive again. What? 
Who are you? Where is the real constable? What are you? <laughs> On day 12, I got promoted again, which means I can buy a rifle for- Fuck. I will be back for you, my son. Day 13. I caught another smuggler who paid me handsomely to let him through. Oh, he's giving me a bribe. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy your chicken. And that's about it. Day 14. I got another call from dispatch, this time sending me to investigate a murder at the Drunken Bear Inn. But this isn't just any murder. This is... A murder mystery. Gentlemen, put your detective caps on. First things first, let's do some investigating. Out the back of the inn is our victim, Oleg. And inside are our suspects. We've got Yegor, the cleaner, Vasil, Timor, Petrovsky, and the bartender. The bartender tells me that yesterday was nothing out of the ordinary until the cleaner came to him saying a man was dead out back. Talking to the cleaner, he tells me he saw Oleg get in a fight with a man wearing a beret over a game of cards before the murder. Suspicious. Vasil, the guy wearing said beret, tells me he wanted to kill Oleg and then doubles back and blames Timor instead. Very suspicious. Petrovsky tells me he's worked with Oleg for years and was there to celebrate his promotion. He blames Yegor, who apparently has a lot of outstanding debt. Even more suspicious. Yegor also tells me he was there celebrating Oleg's promotion from the previous night and he had no reason at all to kill good old Oleg. Extremely suspicious. Timur Kuchik tells me he didn't want to be at the bar at the first place and would have preferred to stay home. So, who done it? Using my extremely high power deductive abilities, I concluded that Timur and the cleaner were innocent. The game then prompted me to take a walk over to the gazebo. This is where... I died. What? Uh -huh. The murderer got you. Turns out I was, uh, wrong. Shit. Okay, jokes aside, this mission seems cool at first, but it is absolute fucking shit. It's really just guess and check until you narrow it down to Timur and the cleaner when the warehouse finally gets unlocked. After that, you just interact with this inconspicuous scrap of paper on the floor, which I, of course, figured out in a very reasonable length of time and did not spend 15 whole minutes playing prop hunt and blowing myself up with a gas canister. Oh. oh. <laughs> when you finally do find the note, it turns out to be a literal murder confession from Timor. You don't even get to carefully deduce who did it, it's just written out for you. The game gives you another chance to side with the rebels and set Timor free, but honestly, if you don't arrest that rat, I don't like you. Day 15. I finally bought my beautiful rifle and I took it for a test drive on a gang of thugs I stumbled upon earlier. <laughs> okay. Okay. A new PB of two seconds. Quite impressive. Day 16 and 17, nothing really interesting happened. So moving on. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. Day 18. Novid. Get it? Because it's Novid. Because it's like, Novid. oh my god. <laughs> If I type, if I like a man, if I type. Day 19. Apprehend a smuggler, reject a man with incredibly suspicious cargo. More chemical three cucumber barrels. <laughs> what? Why are you transporting cucumbers? <laughs> chemical agents. Watch Constable Novik almost get run over. <laughs> Constable Novik, man. He's trying to get killed. Buy a sniper rifle, which turns out to be pretty bad, and then go to bed. Day 20. Nothing. Except for War Thunder is the most real 100 emoji video game ever created. Download it now for free. Get the bonuses. Get the cool ass decal. Please listen to me. I don't have much time. Here are the secret documents revealing the shell specifications on the M1A. Download War Thunder right now and start abusing people in the forums with this knowledge. Days 20 through 25 are all more of the same. Just contraband police work, I suppose. You know what? Maybe you were right at the start. Maybe being a border police officer does suck ass. Four days just passed, and the most interesting thing I saw was this guy with one. Singular. Cool. Day 26. A call from dispatch. I must report to the labor camp immediately. And bring a gun. Upon arrival, they load me up with ammo and tell me they have the leader of those shit-eating bandits. I just need to sit in the back of this big metal truck and defend it while they drive to a more secure location. Uh -oh. My first attempt... Uh didn't end well. But on the second attempt, we made it all the way to the Rebel Blockade. This is about 10 seconds from the end of the mission. To complete it, all I have to do is listen to this Rebel's instruction- Shit. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> but they're the bad guys. I have to redo the entire-
The only reason I couldn't kill them, the only one, is so that I can canonically kill them off camera 10 seconds later. What? The fuck? Day 30. My boy. My brother. My closest friend, Vlad. Was robbed. Who the hell would do such a thing? I hunted down the fugitive. You piece of shit. I'll kill you. Into the tree. And lock that fucker up. I made it back to the outpost and in the middle of the afternoon got a call from dispatch. There's a gathering of rebels at the Drunken Bear Inn. The leader of the rebels, Garen, is in attendance. And I'm tasked with taking him out. So I show up. Dramatic drama ensues, I shoot about 300 men, make my way inside, find a secret room, get choked out, and stab that fucker in the neck. Is that it? There we go. Game done. Thanks for watching. Get subscribed. <laughs> Goodbye!